In my last video, I showed you the basics of draping. So now it's time for advanced draping. All right, so I have these gowns right here. These are from my Nikolaiki line, and I love doing draped dresses. And basically, when I say draped dresses, I mean, hello, draped. It's sort of like you use your hands to drape the garment over the body, the figure, to create this fabulous look. You can see it here, and this is using a silk satin back crepe, and then we also have it here in a jersey. It's all about this movement. It's very draped. Think the sculptures, think Grecian goddess. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to drape something similar to this, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so when you begin draping, you want to have all your supplies, of course. Here I am at my Nikolaiki Design Studio. So I've got my table, I've got my form, pins, scissors, and important, you need muslin. Muslin is unbleached cotton, and especially if I'm going to drape a gown or something very drapey, I like to use a large piece. So make sure you have a nice big piece of muslin and make sure it's ironed, all right? Okay, the next step is to find the bias. I always like to start with a bias. Uh, as much as I can when draping a nice drapey gown or dress. So I'm gonna show you how to find the bias on your piece of muslin. Okay, take your piece of muslin right here and then I start, I'm gonna usually do it with a pencil, but I'm also gonna do it with a black marker so you guys can see. But I like to sort of find a nice area here and find a nice perfect square. So I draw a square just like that. All right, and then I like to draw a diagonal line through the square. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do it in pencil, but then just so you guys can see, I'm also gonna go over it with a marker, just like that. So that's basically right here, as you guys can see, look, see? That's the bias of the fabric because we have the selvage right here, the warp and the weft, and then the bias. Now why the bias? Because it stretches and it gives and it's better for draping, all right? So now we're gonna start draping. Okay, so I've got my muslin ready and I've got the bias marked right here. I've got my form and I wanna show you something very similar to this gown that I've draped uh, where you see the nice pleated gathering and that drapey feel. This is very exemplary of a draped gown. So I wanna show you how to do it. And a lot of people think, oh, that's so easy. Well, hmm, not so muchy but I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks. First thing, you take that bias and you mark where you want it. I wanna do something asymmetrical, all right? And then I wanna take the bias, that's the edge, and I wanna pin one side of it right around the waist and the other side will be pinned right at the shoulder. Now remember, when you pin, don't stick it in uh, just like that. Don't stab her, don't stab the form, poor thing. You wanna go at an angle, all right? Also notice, this is a little bit that way, so I'm gonna show you in this direction. Now, to start the draping process, always let the fabric talk to you. So what I wanna do is notice how I'm doing the folds with my fingers, using your thumb, your forefinger, and you wanna take the first drape or pleat. And so I take it and I position it right here at the shoulder. So there, we've got our first anchored pin, all right? And so that looks very nice. The next one, fold, fold again, and there you go and pin right at the shoulder, again, at an angle. So you want to create this drapey effect. Look at this, see? It's already working for you. Now, the reason this is so nice on the form, again, is the bias, all the bias. Now, I could leave this alone and sort of give the soft drapey feel, but you could also take this and then bring it over to this high hip area, all right? And anchor it there. So you're kind of making that drape and pleat just stay there beautifully. So here's another one, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, just pin. And keep doing this until you think that you've got a nice look. And you just keep doing this, fold, fold with your hands. Notice this, roll. Never pull it and never force it. Never, you don't wanna force it to do something that it doesn't wanna do. So for example, if you wanna drape and you're draping and you're pulling, look at that, that is a no-no. It's the fabric talking to you going, no honey, that's not it. But then just release, soft. Don't pull, and you see that drape. See the nice drape? Now if I wanna anchor it again, right here, and I wanna put another pin right there, and I still get that beautiful draped look to it, 
All right, so I'm gonna do one final one right there. Do you see that? And so I've draped it just like this. And so what I wanna do is just let that be. Just let it be. And so now I'm going to pin the sides of the dress right here. Just pin the sides like this, okay? And then sometimes if you see anything happening here, you wanna smooth that out, look. I can do it with my fingers as well. Just to smooth it out, smooth it out so you get a little nicer drape. You can do that if you want or just release it like that, okay? So it's up to you guys. Now I feel like, you know what? I wanna sustain this a little bit so you can just pin right there just to give it a nice, nice draped feel. Finally, put a pin right there, all right? And you get a little bit of that draped look for it. Now, to finish it off, see all this stuff? That's excess. Now, you could, of course, play with it and have it draped down. That could be kind of cool, right? Maybe we should do that, watch. So, see this? I'm gonna shape it. I'm gonna shape it, I'm gonna cut, 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 and I'm gonna cut, then kind of a curve, and then straight, and then cut this off, and Oh no, he did it. Now I've got a cascade. Oh, that's another lesson. Well, there you go. A little bit of advanced draping. She's kind of like her sister, her muslin sister, okay? So stay tuned for more fun design videos right here on Fashion School with Nick Varios. Until later, ciao. Thanks for watching Fashion School with Nick Varios. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And of course, leave your comments below. And if you want more Nick tips and tricks, get my new book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com right now.